the combination of things that can lead students to drop out of school and have more interactions with the criminal justice system. Rick Dorsey was able to take a closer look at some of the group's efforts to make sure children in the basin don't go down that path. Ultimately, it all starts at the home. It's so important for, for parents to be on the same page with their kids, uh, you know, have a plan, always know where they're at, who they're with, and, you know, when they're coming back. Um, a lot of the issues that we encounter with teenagers, it seemed to be that the parents, you know, don't really have any idea where they're at. Odessa police officer Steve Lasor says that it's important for them that kids and teens develop a healthy relationship with officers. The Ector County Youth Center is also doing their part to prevent children from entering into the criminal justice system. Work with a lot, with a good percentage of the parents that aren't just there, um, in a sense. They're not very much parenting the kids anymore. They're just there to be there. Ector County Youth Center Deputy Director Maria Sosa says 76% of teenagers in the teen court system are products of single parent homes. She says some of these kids may go on to commit crimes. There to be there. They assume that just because they provide a home and food on the table and they work um, that that's enough and that's not enough. Uh, we have to make sure that we're instilling these values into into the children. Another well-known local advocate, Sean Rusco, says he's no stranger to the school to prison pipeline. He says he lived it. Now his mission is to make sure it doesn't happen to other kids in the area. We're not giving them role models. We're not. We're allowing them to be raised by phones, by social media. You connect through these kids. It's emotionally. You can't do it emotionally and spiritually. Odessa police and other groups in the area tell me that it's important that parents and families check their children's phone, engage with their teachers, and know what's going on at all times to avoid the school to prison pipeline. Reporting in Odessa, Rick Dorsey, ABC Big Two News. The National Education Association says it's up to the parents to know where and what their child is doing to keep them out of trouble.